Hey guys, Mike the Handyman here. So today we're going to be changing out a vacuum breaker and a flushometer. The tools you will need for this job are a new vacuum breaker, Sloan or Coin Delaney, if that's whichever make you have, spud wrench, toothless, flathead screwdriver, tef this is optional, Teflon tape, twine, oh and rags of course, rags. I would bring a whole tool bag with you, just in case. You never know what else you might need. You might need a little channel lock. God, who knows? But now, the reason you may need this or this is because if this O-ring is bad and you don't have an O-ring, you may need to make your own gasket. The This is not supposed to get anything on the threads, and neither is this because they're just compression fittings. What you want to do is you would um, take Teflon tape and go over that a few times and maybe just a little bit of twine to stop this from leaking until you could get a new O-ring. But that's in case that starts to drip. That's what you would do. So, those are the tools you'll need. Without further ado, let's start the video. Flushometer here and a bad vacuum breaker. That's how you know you got a bad vacuum breaker. So first thing I'm going to do, I need two hands, I'm going to pop this off, shut the water off, undo this, undo this, turn this, take out the vacuum breaker, put in the new vacuum breaker. These do leak if um, sometimes, and what I brought up for that, they have an O-ring. Um, oh, here it is. They do have an O-ring that goes on them, or sometimes I just take a little um, twine and Teflon and go around them. Here's a new vacuum breaker from Sloan. So, let's get this bad boy undone. I'm gonna take the screwdriver to the angle stop, which I have shut off. Okay, go this way. Pull off, sometimes they do not hold, but you will have to go to the branch valves, shut it off and replace this here, it just comes out. Next, I'm gonna take my spud wrench to this piece. I'm gonna loosen this and this, but I, I like to loosen this one first and then loosen that one. But again, I need two hands for this camera like this, so you can see what I'm going to do. I would leave this in if you can, before you start messing with that and it starts leaking on the corner. Okay, now, here's a little, oops, here's the old vacuum breaker. Get the new one. Okay, now, is that new vacuum breaker? O ring. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take this and you're gonna insert it inside this, like so. So it's gonna go inside. Okay, you're gonna take your O ring and you're gonna put it on top. Then you're gonna slide it in place. I should take this out, but I hate messing with these because they drip on the end there, but I will take it out just to make it easier to get this in. And pop that in like so. Uh, we'll see if it leaks. That O-ring doesn't look so happy, but I don't like messing with these. I'll put that back. Turn this back around. Bring, bring rags with you for this. And then you have to get that positioned over that. Okay, just like so. I'm gonna bring this up first. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just snug this one up first, with your hand. Then you go to the one over here on the angle stop and snug that up. Now I just need to rag my hands a little soaking wet here. Just spun in. I'm gonna hold the flush on there. Okay. Be careful when you do this, you don't want to move the spud in the toilet, because if you do that, then you'll have a leak at the spud. And you don't, because these are very fussy. Alright. Not too tight. Do not crank it down. Crank this top one down now, and hope it does not leak. If it leaks, then I'm going to have to change the O-ring. I'm going to try to put some Teflon and uh, twine around it like I did in the last apartment. This is my second vacuum breaker for today. Oops. Yeah, make sure you get it on there good. You want it to slip now. Ruin the finish. Right, again, not too tight. Okay, my hands are all wet here. Right. Now, let's 
let's see what we got. So far, so good. No drips from here. I'm very happy about that. And nothing here. Give it a little more pressure. So far, so good here. Alright, so in case that video was upside down. No leaks. We'll just make sure we give that a little bit more. Make sure that's a full flush there. And there you go. That is how to change a vacuum breaker. Thank you for watching. Mike out.